Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing another keyboard build in the Novel Keys NK65 Entry Edition Mechanical Keyboard. This is the second build I've done with the NK65 Entry Edition. The first one was earlier this year when I did a Vaporwave theme build in the frosted version of the case. I really enjoyed building in that keyboard, but I ended up selling it to a friend of mine, so when these came back in stock at Novel Keys, I decided to pick up another one, this time in the smoke colorway. For this build, I wanted to try to give the keyboard a little more of a custom feel, so I'll be replacing the stabilizers, lubing the switches, and putting on a set of GMK keycaps. I wanted the rest of the build to complement the smoke colorway of the case, so I decided to look for components with a white on black colorway. The first step was to replace the stabilizers. I went with Everglide Panda plate mount stabilizers. Not only do I think these will be an upgrade from the stock stabilizers, but they're also a perfect fit for the white on black theme. I lubed the housing, stems, and wire with Cryotox 205 grade zero. The stabilizers seemed to be a tighter fit than the stock stabilizers, and that helped to get rid of most of the rattle I noticed with the stock stabilizers. For the switches, I went with the Everglide Oreos. I have to admit, I chose these primarily for the color, but ended up really liking these switches for their feel. They're a tactile switch with a light spring weight. Everglide describes them as crisp, and I would say that's a pretty good description of the switch. I lubed these switches with Tribosis 3204. I lubed the sides of the bottom housing and the sides of the stem, along with the springs. I also added switch films between the top and bottom of the housings to help tighten everything up and get rid of any rattle on the switch. Here's a quick sound test to show the difference between the unlubed switch and the lubed and film switches. Now that the switches are lubed, the next step is installing them in the keyboard, and that's as simple as lining up the switch and firmly pressing it into place, being careful not to bend the pins on the bottom of the switch. For the keycaps, I went with the GMK white on black keycap set from Drop. This is a classic colorway that looks great on just about any keyboard, and I think it looks great on this one. Alright, now that the keyboard's together, it's time for a sound test. All in all, I'm really happy with the way this keyboard turned out. The total cost of this build came in at just under $275. Now I know that's a lot, even when compared to high-end pre-built keyboards, but for me, the quality you get out of a custom keyboard like this is well worth the added expense. You just won't find a pre-built keyboard with this kind of sound or typing experience. My only criticism is the fact that it uses plate mount stabilizers. So even after swapping the stabilizers, I'm still getting a little bit of rattle on the spacebar. That being said, I still really like the keyboard and it's definitely gonna become my daily driver for a while. Well, that's it for this one, guys. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a like. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.